Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of Minecraft and I'd also like to wish you all a happy Halloween. As you can likely tell this episode is a little different because I'm going to be opening with a story so spooky, so graphic, so terrifying it can't be posted on TikTok. With that all being said, before I begin I'd like to ask you all to check that subscribe button and if you're not subscribed give it a nice smack. It's free. You get to smack something, and even if you don't watch my videos, it helps a lot. So while my Minecraft character slightly redesigns our beautiful Shiko on Ick, I'll be telling you all a story from my high school days. If you've been on my TikTok for some time, you'll know that I haven't talked a lot about my high school and the many atrocities that have been committed there by myself and those that I knew. High school was a rather wild time, especially around this time of- If you've been to high school, you've heard of them. Halloween parties. It was late night during the spooky October holidays. I was just about to go out and smoke fat with my friends because I never really was the party type of person. I don't like crowds, drunk people have a tendency to really aggravate me, and I have a horrible habit of doing so instead of going to a party where there's an abundance of all of the above, I decided to just smoke. So there I was with a couple of my buddies freshly smoked up when a car pulls up next to us. This car had a whole bunch of kids that I knew who were supposed to be at the party inside of it. I asked them what was going on and apparently this party was no regular party. There wasn't just kids from our area, there were kids from multiple different districts of Calgary. They had to come pick up some stuff and one of the kids wanted to go back, so in exchange for directions I drove him back to the party. We pull up to the party, which was just an acreage with a big ass fire. Immediately, you can tell that 90% of the people here were hammered. I tried to speak to a few, but I could barely understand them, and the few times that I could, their sentences made little sense. So while my car is parked at the driveway, and I'm just lingering nearby, not actually entering the party until I become comfortable with my surroundings, I see a big cloud of orange smog rise above the lovely little country home. Now if you've ever been to a Calgary party, you likely know what the orange smog is. It's mace, and at a YYC party, it's almost customary tradition to get fucking maced. Then, after the orange smog has risen, I hear multiple fights break out. So I, of course, run to somewhere close enough so that I can see the action, but far enough away so that nobody gets a video of me in the crossfire. Immediately, once I could see where the real party was, I saw one kid getting basically jumped by three dudes. Two guys fighting one-on-one, -on -one, and some big-ass Asian dude bodying somebody from my school before another kid from my school run at him with a bottle of Smirnoff vodka in hand and drop kicks the fucking guy. At this point, things were getting out of hand. That was until one person, and I'm obviously not mentioning any names in this story, there was one person that was severely hated by a large group of people that I knew at the time. And this large group of people saw the opportunity in the chaos. One of these kids tackled said person who was just watching a fight, which is when everybody from that group began jumping him brutally. These guys were smart enough to wear matching costumes, so when one costume fellow got into a fight, everybody wearing that same costume did as well. One of the costume guys that had yet to attack the hated fellow ran to the outlet of all the outdoor lights and pulled the plug. After about two minutes, someone turned the lights back on, and I shit you not, at least 30 people were jumping this one kid. And not all of them knew each other. In fact, some of them didn't even know the guy that they were jumping. So the lights turn on, and all 30 plus people jumping this kid scatter. They all get in their cars and take off. I wait a few minutes, leave my spot, and head back to town. Only to then be forced to sit at the local meeting place we call Upper, while the girl that was with me comforted one of her friends that lost her phone and projectile vomited into a nearby manhole. To say the least, it was an interesting and surprisingly tiring night for somebody like myself that didn't really do much but just witnessed the carnage. What can I say? Some people want to burn the world, and some people just want to hide in a tree and watch the world burn.